What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin. This is Me Mirror. It is a multitasking tweak that should be available in the very, very near future on the Big Boss repo. It allows you to interact with not just one app, not just two apps, three, four apps at the same time. And it works by simply dragging from the upper left hand corner of a full screen app to reduce its size. And then you can drag the title bar to move the app around just like this. You can move it any place on the screen that you desire just by tapping and dragging from the title bar. Super easy to use. Now, say you want to resize or do something else with the app. You can do that just by tapping the title bar and then using a simple pinch or you can tap the plus button to make it a full screen app again. Or if you want to, you could tap the minus button to minimize the app and you can set the minimize threshold in the preferences. There's also a rotation button so that you can rotate an app into landscape mode or portrait mode and you can close the app with the X. Now Me Mirror comes with a really well done preference app. Uh, there you can find and configure all sorts of settings like default orientation. You can change the default window size. So this is what the size of the window will look like when you invoke Me Mirror just by swiping down from the upper left hand corner. So that's easily configurable. You can even change the, the default minimize window size. So whenever you minimize an application by hitting a little minus sign, then it will set to this, whatever setting you set here. Uh, so you can make it really small, really big, whatever you want, it's up to you. Now you also have the activation, so you can choose to drag from top left, top corner, etc. You have your activation sensitivity that you can adjust there. So as you can see, it's really well done settings. Um, makes it easy to configure this tweak. You have hide status bar, pinch to resize, show title text. You can change all that if you want to. Um, so here is me mirror again. Let me just show you some more of the multitasking. That's what we kind of want to focus on in this video because that obviously is the big deal here. Being able to multitask, do things at the same time with multiple apps is really sweet. Um, it's just so nice to be able to interact with two apps at the same time, three apps at the same time, four apps at the same time. Time, you can do it with me mirror now granted it does run a lot better on the iPad I've noticed I have an iPad Air 2 and it runs a lot better on the iPad Air 2 everything's just really snappy I guess you can probably chalk it up to the amount of RAM the iPad Air 2 has 2 gigs of RAM and it runs really well on the iPad Air 2 which you'll see here in just a second on the iPhone 6 Plus it runs fairly well if you don't have more than two apps like if you start getting the three four apps at a time things are a little sluggish um, so just keep that in mind but on the Air 2 at least uh, it's a pretty 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 sweet um, because obviously with iOS 9 you get the side-by-side -side multitasking and things on uh, the iPad but nothing like this like this is four apps literally running at the same time and everything's just really snappy now just a couple of brief observations about running me mirror on my iPhone 6 plus number one if you run more than two apps at a time on an iPhone 6 plus it gets really really warm so keep that in mind also the tap targets for the title bar are really hard to grab on a smaller device they're hard to grab on an iPad actually but they're really hard to grab on a smaller device even when you adjust the sensitivity settings so you probably don't want to run this on a 5s or something small like that so to conclude yes I am really impressed by me mirror it is much better on the iPad in my opinion uh, and it's sort of geared towards that since you have a bigger screen and things are easier to tap but the activator gestures yes this does include activator gestures make that a little bit easier but overall I think this is definitely geared towards the iPad it'll be three dollars and 99 cents once it touches down let me know what you guys think about me mirror down below in the comments section this is Jeff with iDownload blog